Hey guys, welcome back to the Project DIY channel. On today's project, we're gonna put a new battery in a robot vacuum cleaner. Let's get started. So this is a Cordy L900 robot vacuum cleaner. We've had it for a couple of years now. And recently it has started losing its charge really quick. It'll come off of the charging dock and go around the house maybe 30, 40, 50 feet and it'll just die completely dead. So the battery has died on it. And I think what had happened is uh, it got left off of the charger for some time. We were gone for a week and it did its little automatic cycle, went around the house and got hung up somewhere and uh, just stopped and the battery went dead. And so it set for a while uh, not being charged. So I'm gonna change the battery out in it. And these vacuum cleaners have different setups. Some of them have a battery compartment access cover on them right here and you can just pull that out, pull the battery out and replace it. This one you have to take it apart. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna take this all apart, replace the battery in it. I've already had it apart once and messed with the battery trying to get it to work and it was unsuccessful. So I went ahead and ordered another one and I found this on Amazon. This replaces the one that I have. And you can f pull your old battery out and get the numbers off of it and do a search online. You can usually find a replacement battery for yours. Uh, this particular one uh, is the one that it called for for mine and pretty sure it came from China because it took forever to get it in. I think we waited like three weeks for it. All right, so to take this apart, there's one, two, three, four, five, six or eight screws. Take those out. First thing that needs to come off is these brushes. Let's see if I can get these off. These have screws in them. Uh, different vacuums have different ways that those go on. Some of them are just snap on. These are screws. Now, taking these apart is also a good time to clean them out. Uh, these things get really filthy, nasty, dirty inside. So you need to take them apart and clean them out as much as possible. Uh, dirt, dust is the biggest detriment to the operation of these things. All right, I think that's all the screws. Pop the cover off and the battery is here. Now, like I said, I've had this apart before and as you can see, this battery has tape around it. Uh, I did that. I can, had considered it one time unsoldering all the batteries and just replacing them all, but it was actually just as cheap to order a new battery. So this is the battery pack out of this one. And let's open the new one. And here it is. You want to check and make sure the plugs match and that the colors of the wires match whenever you put the plug side by side in the correct orientation. You want to make sure the wires are the same. And they are. All right, so plug this back in here. There we go. Put our battery in. Stuck the wire down out of the way. And that's it. We're ready to put the cover back on. 
as you can see there's a lot of dust and dirtiness i've i've cleaned this one once already and it's already nasty usually about once a year i'll take this apart and clean it out clean all the dirt out of it there's all kinds of areas back in here under these wheels these wheels get stuff tangled up in them this wheel in the front take all that apart and clean it all out all right we'll simply put the screws back in it put the brushes back on it these are marked right and left this one has an L on it so it goes over here the case is also marked with an L and R for right and left so you know which side to go on Put the beater back in. Dust collector. All right, let's make sure it comes on. All right, so it may be dead. We'll have to go put it on the charger. All right, guys, got her charged up here. Let's see how she do. Start audio cleaning. All right, so she's gone a good five or 10 minutes now, doing fine. That's twice as long as it was going before, so I think we're good. I'm gonna send it home to the dock. Let it finish charging. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you learned something you can take and use. And uh, if you need to change the battery in your robot vacuum cleaner, you'll have a little bit of knowledge that can help you do that. Appreciate you guys watching. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you wanna leave me a comment, that'd be great too, I'd appreciate it. Thanks guys, see you on the next one.